Hi everyone, I'm Wago Warrior, aka Julie, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Wago stands for when you get old. If you've stopped by because you are as curious as I am as to what is in this box, then you're in the right place and keep on watching. <laughs> What the heck is this? This is what I call a true mystery box. No, not a mystery box that a brand or site sells to get rid of stuff. This legit is a box that arrived and I have no clue what it is. It's from THG, which does sell a lot of brands. The only brand, I went to the website and the only brand I'm familiar with is Look Fantastic. And I do not recall buying anything from Look Fantastic other than in August, September time frame, I picked up the advent calendar, but I don't get their subscription anymore. I don't shop on their site. So clueless, but there's only one way to find out and that's to open the sucker up and do an unboxing. If any of you watching also do beauty YouTube unboxing videos, have you ever received a box that you weren't expecting, you didn't do a haul, it just randomly showed up. And I'm not talking about you channels that are large enough to get PR. Ooh, wouldn't this be exciting if it was my first ever PR? Like that would ever happen. Watch me when I open it up and go, oh yeah, old lady brain. But honestly, I have no idea what this could be. Okay, yes. I did not know this company also dealt with this brand. So this is a Makeup Revolution haul. I love Revolution, I Heart Revolution, Revolution Beauty, Revolution. I don't know, they got like six sub-brands with the name Revolution. Okay, item number one. We have a bronzer, which looks really dark. What is it with me and bronzers, contours, and the ability to shop online? <laughs> this here is the Super Bronzer in the shade Sand, which it's so inexpensive. I'm just gonna swatch it. If it doesn't work out, oh well. Okay, so that's the bronzer there. Um, hmm, do that. I could probably, with a very light hand, I did go in two swipes there. All right, well, I got a bronzer. The next item is this one here, which is the Super Dewy Liquid Blush. And this is in the shade Flushing for You. I love a good pun for the name of a product. This is the packaging outside the box. I've really been into liquid cream products lately all right so that was the tiniest amount Ooh, which is really all you need probably half of what i put let's just blend it out that's a beautiful shade all right the next item here looks to be a lip product it doesn't say but knowing me it's a lip gloss this is a sheer brilliant in the shade sheer brunch it does come safety sealed with plastic wrap all over the product, which I find annoying, <laughs> but it's a good thing. It kind of has a sweet scent, but it's fighting heavily with the chemical scent. That's why I had to go in for a second and now a third sniff. Kind of powdery, sweet, chemically. I don't know. It's not obnoxious, but it's not good either. It's doable. It's a really pretty shade and it is quite pigmented. You know how I do. Let's see what it looks like. It's nice. It's comfortable not sticky the applicator is very flat 
And so it picks up a lot of product, which normally is good, but this one's so goopy. It was, I don't know, it had a little too much product. But I think I will enjoy it. All right, what else did I not remember getting? Oh, you know me on the hunt. This here is a concealer, and it's the first base concealer in the shade C3. It is safety sealed with that lovely, ever so easy to remove plastic wrap, un memento. All right, so this concealer does come with one of those squishy little sponge balls. And just like the Maybelline products, you're gonna have to twist until product comes out the end. The lights are washing it out, but in person it looks way more orangey, kind of warm toned than it's picking up on camera, but it should be doable. And hey, shocking, I know. Is this another lip product, you may ask? No, it's another concealer. This here is the Conceal XX Super Fix Concealer, and this is in the shade CX one and I hope this shade is more neutral or cool tone than the other one I just tried this one comes in pretty packaging this feels like glass but it might be that fancy acrylic that's um, kind of polished or it could eh. no I think it's acrylic but it looks like glass interesting doe foot it's kind of swoops up it almost looks like a shoe all right it looks like it picks up a good amount of product yes so here is the second one and compared i think now this is starting to look a little more warm tone and this one you can see is more neutral to cool tone all right now on to the star of this haul and the whole reason the purchase was made is this palette here we have a collab with elf I love that movie. It's one of my all-time favorite Christmas movies. And when you see this palette, maybe or maybe not, your head will explode as mine did when I saw it. First off, how adorable. It looks like, you know children's books where you get a set of books? That's what that looks like there. Second, there is a magnetic opening and closure. It's like a little artist palette. They swivel. And you can, within one little condensed contraption here, you have four different palettes. So the first one kind of has some pastels and some neutrals, some like periwinkle blues. The second one has more earth tones, kind of fall vibes with some greens. Third palette will never see the light of day. <laughs> This is the adventurous, very colorful palette. And palette number four is Wygo Warrior Town. This is where I will probably live and breathe. You have a lovely, nice, neutral, warm, pinky, cinnamon, spicy goodness. What else can I say? Loving it. Let's recap what I picked up in my haul. I got a bronzer, a liquid blush, a lip gloss, the Fast Base Concealer, the Super Fix Concealer, and the I Heart Revolution collab with ELF palette. What are your thoughts? I think the items are really cute. I don't remember what I spent, but knowing me, I don't think it was very much. I'm gonna list on the screen the MSRP total of everything I got. The only thing I do remember is this palette was 50% off and it retailed for $30, so I picked it up for $15. I'm fairly certain the way I shop, almost everything would have been on sale or I had a coupon code, something. Anyways, this once again is from Makeup Revolution, I Heart Revolution, Revolution, Rock My World, <laughs> I don't know. All of the Makeup Revolution, it's one website. That's what threw me when I saw the box from THG because I would have expected Makeup Revolution to send a box where the outside said the word revolution. Now I know, add one more company to that THG's conglomerate 
of makeup brands. All right, leave me a comment and let me know which product I unboxed would be something you would even consider getting. Or if once again, you're like, wow, you shop weird. Um, I'm super excited to give this eyeshadow palette a try, as well as figuring out if either of those new concealers can become my holy grail. Oh, I'm always on the search. My under eyes are scary, scary dry and wrinkly. All right, I wanna thank each and every one of you for stopping by, I really do appreciate it. If you haven't done so by now, I would love if you would subscribe. For those who have, thank you so much. Make sure you click the bell icon so you're notified of future videos. And if you could do me a huge favor and click that thumbs up, it really does help. All right, thanks everyone.